How about it, YouTube? How the hell y'all been tonight? Today, it's Friday. Bam. Your boy, Joel, a.k.a. Mr. Just Right One, checking back in with y'all this evening. Got a little bit of a treat for y'all tonight. Uh, I'm not going to go into like a real in-depth build on it. I'm just going to quickly go over this, tell you why I like it. Uh, truth be told, I personally haven't been a fan of Geek Vape for a very long time. I mean, just a lot of the things they put out look very unique and very cool looking. But personally, I wasn't a fan of them. There was a lot of things that I just really didn't like or care about their products. But that has changed, and that was with the Zeus. I already told you I'm a big fan of that Zeus RTA. That thing is incredible. For a single coil, the flavor in that, man, is just out of here. The airflow design is out of here. But today I got another, I guess it's a sister company to Geek Vape, uh, Digi Flavor. You know, everybody had came out and seen that mesh RDA with Andy Vapes. And that thing was probably the one of the very best bottom-fed atomizers I'd ever had. Especially when it comes to the mesh, that thing was phenomenal. Uh, Digiflavor comes out with the Mesh Pro. Let's show you what we're talking about. Hell, I know I teased it on camera a little bit, but hell, it's Friday. Bam. That's the Mesh Pro RDA right there. I'm loving the media blasted finishes that are coming out right now, man. The silvers, the blues, the blacks. The gray. They, they're looking really, really, really good. Who's going to do the red media blast? It just looks phenomenal because everybody knows one of my favorite colors is red. I don't discriminate though, man. This is a beautiful piece. Uh, I'm going to slap that lens I did on there last night just to show y'all real quick the deck so you can get a better idea of what it looks like. Here we go. Bam. Bam. Now so you can see my ugly face. Bam. You notice I do not have the bottom fed pin in this device. And there's a reason why I do not have the bottom fed pin in this device. And we're going to go over that. Alright. So y'all seen that. Bam. Good enough, huh? I don't have the bottom pin, bottom fed pin. I tried it. I did. I really did. And while I was trying it, I don't know. It just, from the original mesh RDA to this one, the original killed it when it comes to the bottom flow. That's my story and I'm sticking to it. It really did. And there's a reason why the original is a better bottom fed design than the Pro. And that is because the cotton sits right on top of that bottom fed pin. You can make like a little valley inside your cotton in there. So just when you're juicing, it goes straight to the cotton. With this device here, what I found, yes, it does have a very deep juice well in it, or, or compared to that one, it does. The bottom fed pin on it, if you chain vape this with the surface area of the mesh, if you know what, time out, because some of you may not be familiar with mesh. What an ass of me to assume that everybody knows what mesh is. That is mesh right there. And you see, I already clamped one side in right there. Just bam, clamped it in. Y'all just sit tight, because I'll tell you what I'm going to do. I'm going to go ahead and do that. And then I'm going to explain this. Okay. So you see this mesh right here. The surface area from here to here, which is making contact with your cotton, really soaks up some juice really fast. Well, what happens is, if you have this in a bottom-fed configuration, you squonk, fills up your little juice chamber, and then it soaks up into the cotton, and you're sitting there vaping. Well, it's dissipating that juice faster than the cotton can be wicked. And I've tried it numerous ways. I mean, I've, I've been using this thing religiously since I got it to try to see what I can do to make it a better vape for me. And honestly, I couldn't find anything that made it any better. But I do have a few little tips and tricks I'm going to be happy to share with you. I'm actually going through right now and measuring up what I'm going to cut and how much and why. And I'll cut it. And then I'll get ready to put my build in it and I'll show you 
why I cut it where I cut it. Now see I didn't cut it short enough. I need to take just a slither off of that. I mean just a a, a, a smidget. We talked about a smidget last night. You need to take just a smidget off of it. Alright. Oh, guess what again? I'm putting the lens back on again. Bam. Y'all get tired of seeing my ugly face, don't you? Up all up close and personal. Alright, so here we go. Ugh. All them little fuzzies. But you see I've cut it pretty pretty short and the reason I've done that let me get this on camera for you is so that when I lay my cotton on there and this is some uh, damn whose cotton is that I think this is that cool master cotton all right see I just laid it across there I'm gonna tuck it in a little bit and then I'm gonna roll I'll tell you what let me do it like this bam Right, now y'all can see that roll that in and push it down till it's flat and even and when I do that take my little screw screwdriver bam. and that is a flathead and I lot I got to make a correction to last night's video I said that the dead rabbit comes with Phillips head screws it does not it comes with flathead screws and the grub screws so that's my fault made a mistake just that quick and now look that cotton is really nice and tight in there so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna trim my cotton to kind of tuck off in these juice wells a little bit Tell you what, I can do that right now and just go mm. y'all know why these scissors ain't very good because I was cutting jerky with them that beats me jerky when it comes in I cut it in strips and try to Make it last a little bit, which it don't. I'm already out. Bam. So, now I'm just going to tuck that cotton off in there, kind of spread it out a little bit. And your fluff game on this doesn't have to be just incredibly scientific by no damn means. Just I'm taking a little screwdriver and kind of jam it in there a little bit. Pull out some excess, like. Well, let me see what I got excess in there. Yeah, that's a little much. Like I said it doesn't have to be nothing super fancy or smancy and all that other good stuff. Just and don't you want to make sure not to pull it from the middle. You want to pull the ends of it off and just just fluff the ends of your cotton. If you fluff from the center, you're going to pull out the core of that cotton and then your cotton will collapse. Especially with the surface area and heat that's generated off this mesh. Alright, so now I know that cotton, yeah, is nice and tight in there. Bam. And that sucks. Because I just pulled it out. But, it's okay. Glad I did. To show you, and that's, you know, I don't know, don't edit my videos and whatnot. But it just shows you that I'm human. I make mistakes too. Everybody makes mistakes. I did install the little rubber uh, clear disc on the bottom so I don't scratch up the top of my beloved Belisk. 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 I still don't know how to, how to say it. Bam. And let's see what kind of resistance we're reading. Is that picking up where the dam right there? 0.21 resistance at 89 watts. Let me show you how fast that ramps up. Guess what, guys? Guess what I'm going to do again? Can anybody guess? I bet you can't guess. I bet you can't guess. I bet you can't guess what I'm about to do. Bam. Did you guess that? If you did, you're right. You win. Don't know what you win, but you win. All right, let's see if I can steady my hand a little bit. And... You see how fast that... All that whole surface area right there. It's really good for cloud production and flavor when it's done right uh i do have some complaints with this mesh pro and we're going to show i'm going to show you those in just one second 
Just one second, just one second. Okay, so I put my cotton back in there. Make sure it's all fluffed out nice and pretty and stuff. Bam, bam, bam. No, that's not real pretty. It don't have to be pretty, but you know. I'm not looking halfway decent. And then I'll tuck it in there. Tuck it in there, tuck it in there. Tuck it in there, tuck it in there. Even it out a little bit. Bam. I said, ain't gotta be nothing just super fancy. I don't like that right there, but ain't gotta be nothing super fancy. Just down in there. Get off in your juice well, nice and plentiful. You see your airflow design there. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take a bottle of griddle cakes. Have y'all tried griddle cakes? That's a King's Crest and Jam Monster collaboration right there. Uh, King's Crest been collaborating with a lot of people, man. That uh, Nine South and King's Crest uh, Duchess Serial Killer. Whew. Mercy. I kick myself for giving that other bottle, paying that other bottle for it. No, I don't kick myself for it, but I was, after I gave it away, I was like, man, that was one of my one that it kept. But that's not me. That's not who I am. And I'm just going to juice all over this thing. And juice all over this thing. And like I said, it holds a mess ton of juice. Do a little bump. Let that absorb into that cotton real quick you know as you're firing your coils putting your juice on there with the cotton in it don't just sit there and lay on it but just give it a little pulse every now and then and let it it helps it soak it up soaks that juice right on up and I don't like my mod <laughs> that happens too all right Guess what? We're going to go to the lens again. So I asked y'all last night what y'all thought about it. Somebody said, hey, cat man, makes it so much easier to see. And y'all didn't come to see me. Y'all came to see this, right? So here we go. Y'all see that? Just bam. All the way across. All right. Now we get into my one complaint I have with this device. The airflow. And maybe one of y'all know. Hey, I'm, I don't know everything. Maybe y'all can tell me something. Do you want the airflow going across? I'll tell you what. Let me just turn it off. Make it one full spin all the way around. Does the airflow need to line up with the mesh on the side? Like so. From there to there. Or does the airflow need to line up on the outside of the wicks? To me, if it lines up on the outside of the wicks, it's going to make it leak. So, I line it up to the sides of the mesh surface area there and see what it does. But what happens is, another thing, I don't know if you can see it or not. Right, I'm about to poke this in there. All right, see. So, that's the top of that clamp system right there. And it, the bottom holes are right here. The top is right here. The airflow is... To me, in my opinion, it's too low in this Mesh Pro. Uh, what I think they could have done to remedy, remedy to that is bevel those airflow holes upwards, like inwards and upwards a little bit, or move the airflow holes up just um, where, where this bottom row is, put it on top of this top row instead, and maybe angle them down a little bit. I think that would have really helped this device a lot. But I like it. I love the finishing on it. I love the drip tip on it. They give you a whole bunch of different kinds of mesh. You get three packs of it. You get SS and some uh, Nyrochrome or NI80 and some Canthal A1. I love it. I mean, it's it's a that throat punch flavor is, it's there. Let's give it a rip and see what y'all think. Damn. 
And I know griddle cakes, that's griddle cakes. That is, that's on point. Matter of fact, it could stand a little more wattage and that's at 3.12. Everybody knows I'm 4.2 guy or better. If I ramp it up to where it's 4.2, that's gonna have to be like 120 some odd watts, I believe. Let's see, 120, no, hell. Lava to be much. Yeah, 173. I'll do it on camera just for y'all, but it's not something I would do all the time. One, because battery life is majorly hindered at that. Damn, I might do that more often. <laughs> that was super, super just major thick vapor flavor. Even on the XL, it was like just super, super flavorful. If you're on the fence between the Mesh Pro and the Mesh, what is the application in which you're going to use it? If it's going on a bottom-fed device, a squonk of sorts, go with the original Mesh OG. It's going to be a better bait for you. If you're not doing it on a squonk, if you're just putting it on a regular mod, regular 510, not bottom-fed, go with the Mesh Pro. Uh, Digi Flavor, I doubt you're watching, but if for some, uh, some ungodly reason you are, I'd be more than appreciative by no means uh try that try moving that airflow up a little bit and what you i mean what i can do is actually just pull this cap up to the first o-ring see how i've done that and way better just everything about that was you heard it. Whew. It just shot a cloud of vapor down my damn throat. I never deep throated vapor before. <laughs> no, nah, but it's flavorful as hell. People say, you know, too much airflow kills flavor. If it's positioned proportionately to your coil and done correctly, airflow can help your flavor and these are my opinions some people say man god i don't know what he's talking about hell i'm a flavor guy that's my personal opinion uh what do i got for you guys I'll tell you what i got y'all tell me what you think do y'all want me to give you some geek vape hats or do y'all think i need to add these to the uh just right christmas first you tell me. I mean, it's your choice. If y'all want them, say you want them. I'll gladly do a giveaway on them. If you don't want them, say, you know what? Tell you what, make it even better because I know you guys like giveaways. Jagged. Cedar Ridge. 120 mil premium e juice right there. And I got two Geek Vape hats. I can do two winners of a Geek Vape hat and a winner of juice, or a first winner gets hat and juice, and the second one gets hat, or I can just throw the hats in the Just Right Christmas stockings or the Cedar Ridge in the Just Right Christmas stockings. You tell me. Your boy Joel, aka Mr. Just Right One, checking in and checking out at the same damn time. I absolutely love y'all. Thank y'all so much for the love and support thus far. I mean that. Do not think that I'm not appreciative for every single one of you. I really am. Without y'all, this channel could not be. Like, comment, and share if you feel it the need if you dislike the video hit the dislike button you're not gonna offend me with that i promise i'd rather you say you know what i ain't really care for that one that much i'm out y'all have a wonderful evening we going to watch uh daddy's home too babe is that what we're watching yeah daddy's home too we're gonna go watch that tonight so y'all stay blessed love y'all it didn't stop again son of a